Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of Pichel Designer Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video what we're going to see is how we can use the placeholder on Pichel Designer. So let's go to the presentation, or the software in this case. So, the placeholder are a useful tool or a way of programming inside Pichel Designer so we can speed up the process when we have, for example, um, and a structure on the PLC and we want to share the data and we replicate the same thing over and over again. Okay, so uh, let's create a project and let's see what is this about. Place folder. It doesn't matter the target. And okay. So the first thing that we need to do is to create a structure. So the variables here you can find user data types. I don't have anything at all here yet. So what we need to do is to go variables, and here we have user data types at the structure. So for example, in this case, what I'm going to do is to create a structure for a pump. So it's gonna be st pump pump and then inside here i just need to add the elements so for example you're going to add a boolean for um run stop Here the boolean is going to be uh, the status running and here oops, oops uh, element I'm going to select the velocity um, velocity okay so I have all these things so this one's going to be command run this is going to be the command to stop and this is indication running and this one is going to be set point velocity close now that i have created a structure i'm able to use it in visual designer so here User data types here. I'm going to set my pump 01. And you can see here I have the variables. Now I'm going to simulate a PLC on my side. It's going to be a modicon M21 using Ecostructure Machine Expert Basic. So I'm going to create um, add the driver to communicate to this. It's going to be Schneider Electric, Model TCP, Models Equipment. It's going to be my PC low and to delete this part. Yes. And here rename my M221. So now that I have created the device that I will communicate to, I can specify this to be external. Here, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to point it to the bits, the percentage M, I'm going to uh, select the percentage NW and then the bit so we can use like an structure inside the M221. So I'm going to use percentage NW uh, 10, the bit 0, NW 10, bit 2, and then I'm going to use the NW um, 11 zero for status and here i'm going to use the percentage nw 12 for the set point okay so now that i have this the structure with everything we can go back here and we can design the the thing so here do something like that we can define okay the switch 
to control this switch with lamp here my pump run I'm going to copy this control C bit momentary on add you should use this one for commands static uh, run you should use this one 14 the color you should for off I use the gray and then when it's on I use the green we can say this is a color resource um, I'm not going to do it probably I'm going to explain that in another video and here the text is going to be gray and uh, black okay so I have the run command I'm going to add the stop so here is going to be a stop stop apply label stop now we need to select the indication that everything is running so I can put this over here my pump running okay so the color if it's off gray and if it's running I'm going to put that in yellow and yellow green okay so this gives me the idea that it's running um, I can add a text here pump control pump control and now I can add the velocity here it's gonna be for example rpm my pump velocity set point enable input okay usually to put this in color the text in black and the plate plate in white so you give you the idea that someone can change so this is so far for the for the control of the pump on the HMI side I haven't programmed anything yet on the PLC side so I have this open um, for the configuration in this case it doesn't matter the IP address because I don't have the physical device with me um, going to enable everything the important thing here is to define uh, the things that I'm going to do so MW10 0 is to run the indication is going to be running MW11 0 going to copy this one over here change that is running and then the stop and we use 10 um, 2 I believe it is to remember 2 so this information I have so I just map this and then it should work just giving the the logic just to give you that the analog also works I'm going to create a 100 and I'm going to associate the NW12 the one with the set point this one is just an additional in case it goes to analog output so now I have this probably the best would be to keep the name memory word in this particular case I work in this way because uh, we don't have like an structure possibility in the M221. Uh, in the Ecosystem Machine Expert, yes, we have possibility to use a structure, so it's going to be uh, an easier process. In this case, I explained to you like this, so you have another way of working without using the structure. So MW10 is going to be pump 01 command word pump 01 um status or indications um pump zero one is going to be the set point okay so i have 
this already created and you can see the things now if we simulate this and then if we simulate this part I should be able to access to the PLC so this is the HMI let's run yes okay so now if I change this you can see that the information is go there run it's running stop so I can have this controller here which is fine now what happens if I have multiple pumps okay or different elements that are going to be replicated n times on the HMI so on the PLC um, probably the easy way to replicate if you're using ladder is to change to instruction list and the end to the one if you are on machine expert uh, not the basic you can probably use a structured text to easily copy and paste and change everything here you can copy run paste run here change the instruction list and here change everything to number two so for that we need to replicate the names cmd pump zero two uh, indication and pump in another position pump o2 set point so once you replicate this information with a real name just go here change the one or the two and that's it okay so this is to speed up the process so I have the control of these two, probably need to do the same here. And I'll just copy and paste over here. Just to show you that it works. So I have this already created. So I have the logic in the PLC it can be replicated n times. On the HMI side, target variables, pump zero one change everything pump i can easily copy this ctrl c ctrl b or is it going to be pump two but if i have all this ctrl c ctrl b i need to change in every place zero one or zero for the number two and it can take a little bit of more time so in order to avoid that what we have are the face the um, placeholders so what we need to do is to the dollar sign in all the variables that we were using You can access over here is between the a structure name okay before the point we can go or go over here the thing is it's, you put it over here you don't see if the syntax is correct okay that's why probably going here and change is good now that you have replaced the structure name um, with the structure name plus the uh, the dollar sign what you can do is to group everything group uh, once this is a group you have the option on the property inspector to select the placeholder okay so now what you can do is to control c control b and change the placeholder with a new variable the structure this is one way to do it the other way is to go to the tool chest and select here in the users oops drag and drop so you have here 
rename my pump so you can reuse this element group so drag and drop it then it will ask you to change the placeholder yes i'm going to change it and use this pump o2 okay so if you access to all the elements inside so if we go to graph list with object rectangle you can see that the variables associated are the number two and i haven't changed anything at all okay so this is a very easiest way a fastest way to speed up the process now that I show you that this is working i'm not lying to you let's simulate this and let's connect to the controller also right now there is no communication at all uh -huh. okay play okay it's communicating something i haven't done on visual designer because i changed the the variable structure part i haven't changed the the address it's 20 20 21 this is manual thing that we need to do 22 and then i'm going to simulate again now we should be able to connect okay show you this so so you can see it's the same uh, group of elements okay in a way but they're linked to different variables so i'm going to use um, like this did i simulate this ah i didn't change this change over here but i didn't change the the logic my bad okay so let's put the again here the information the logic there we go so i change this and it's change it not the other one okay and if i run this it's running stop if i run this this is stop it's not going to stop that one and now i can run this one and stop okay so there are a few things that we need to consider is to create the structure so this is a structure that we can use on the placeholder um you need to take into account that we need to use between the dollar sign the name of the structure so it can be easy and basically that's it okay so um this is a good way to speed up the design of the hmi okay but it's also good to work along with the plc so it goes to the right position of memory address and it's going to speed up the process of the delivery of the machine so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one Thank you.